guys, welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. This is a very important video for anyone doing A levels mathematics. Whatever paper you're doing, this video is going to play a very important role in that. What we're going to learn today is quadratic um, and disguised quadratics, which are quadratic equations which do not look like quadratic equations, but in real they are quadratic equations, they are disguised as something else. So, first of all, let's learn a pattern of how they look like. So, it's, it's always going to be a three term equation. So always watch out for three terms equations equal to zero. So this is how the power, how the entire equation would look like. Uh, the last term would be a constant usually. The middle term must have a power, some power, and double of that power would be on the first term. Double of that power will be present on the first term. So we are looking for this pattern. The quicker you start to identify these patterns, the easier it will get for you people. So it will always be a three term uh, expression equal to zero. The last number will always be a constant. This will always be a constant. This will be, does not have a variable. So this is a constant. You will have some power on the middle term and the double of that power would be on the first term. So let's see, let's have an example. Uh, the obvious example that I always use, I'm going to use some space to the left side. So first of all, let's see if I have x to the power four minus six x squared minus 16 is equal to zero. So if I have this equation, so now you guys can see that this is following this pattern. This is a three term equation. We have a constant over here. We have some power, which is two, and double of that power is present over here. So we guys can see that this is going to be a uh, disguised quadratic. What do we have to do? We have to take the middle uh, term and put that uh, power of x equal to a substitution. So I'm going to say, I'm going to use x squared is equal to say u. So I'm going to use this substitution and to utilize this, I know that x to the power four would be actually x squared to the whole squared minus six x squared minus 16 is equals to zero. So now we can see that this will become u squared minus six u minus 16 is equals to zero. You guys can use factorization or quadratic formula to first solve for u now. You guys can see this is a quadratic equation. Then once you have found the values of u, put them over here in this substitution, and then you can find the values of x. Similarly, let's see another example. And uh, let's see, for example, if you have x plus seven under root x plus 12 is equals to zero. Now, this is also a disguised quadratic. You guys can see that this is a following in three-term pattern. First of all, this term is a constant. This term has some value of x as a power. So you guys can see square root of x means this has a power of one by two. Now, one by two squared would be equal to, uh, one by two doubled would be equal to one. So this is following the exact pattern. The power over here is one by two, and I have doubled that power, which is one, over here. So this is a disguised quadratic. I'm going to use square root of x as a substitution u. And we know that this thing would be x would be equal to u squared then. So I'm going to place u squared over here plus 7u plus 12 is equals to 0. And similarly, first you're going to solve for u. Once you found the values of u by quadratic equation solving, you are going to put them over here and you can find the values of x. Similarly, we uh, see this sort of um, pattern in trigonometry as well. So you guys are uh, used to the idea, for example, I'm going to write a complicated one. So sine to the power four x minus four sine squared x minus 12 is equals to zero. Now you guys can see clearly what is happening. It's a three term equation. Now for a three term equation, we have a constant over here. We have some power of X on the component over here and the double power is on the first term. So we can see the pattern follows. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take sine squared X as our substitution. 
So we will say this is u squared minus 4u minus 12 is equal to 0. First solve for u, replace the values for u over here, then take square root and solve for sine x, and you can solve this later on. So this is a very dominant scene in all the A-levels, pure maths papers. If you're taking A-levels maths, or if you know somebody who is taking A-levels maths, do share it with them. This is a really important, really informative video for them. If you have any questions, any queries related to this video, please leave them in the comment box below, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, goodbye.